Oh, hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> there we go. That's better. So I'm glad I can actually see you guys. Um, good morning. It is March 11th. Um, it's Friday. Friday. And um, after... I guess it's been two days since I started my little detox um, from the Arnold. My body has responded amazingly. Um, just yesterday, I weighed myself and I was actually down to 129 from 138. So that's nine pounds in one day. Because <laughs> remember, I weighed myself the night before and I was already down five pounds from the morning. So it just goes to show how much water I was retaining. Um, it goes to show how important it is not to focus on your weight. Sorry for my morning voice, by the way. I literally just woke up. But um, yeah, it just shows that it's really important not to focus solely on your on the number on the scale just because it can fluctuate very easily, like I said before. So this was a really good experiment that I wanted to show you guys because sometimes you see on social media people being like, oh, I lost 10 pounds in five days it's water it's impossible to lose that much fat in such a short amount of time I ran out of storage oh, I thought I would be done with this problem after getting a new camera but I guess it's just I'm cursed it's a curse guys uh, but like I was saying um, it's very important not to focus on the number just because a lot of things can change it um, and yeah it's just it's a good way to track progress, but it shouldn't be the only way that you're tracking your progress. Today, I have a workout with Gabby planned. Um, I am hitting my new macros full on today, which are 195 carb, 120 protein, and 50 fat. I'm excited for that. I haven't had that many carbs in like a long ass time, so I'm excited to see how my body reacts. I did tell my coach that I wanna keep it tight just because I have a couple photo shoots coming up and then I also have the FIBO in Germany in April so I definitely want to at least maintain my physique as of right now um I'll do a little physique update with you guys in a little bit here but um I'm really happy with how my body recovered from the little splurge that I had in Columbus um later on today I will give you guys my tips on how to kind of not fix the mistake it's not really a mistake it's just us being human and like life happening but um just a little some tips on how to like get rid of the extra water weight and um get back on track so i will check in with you guys in a second here i'm just gonna go put my bathing suit on yeah and show you guys hey it's my alarm uh i woke up before my alarm yo that's what i'm talking about 9 30 is not even that early at all <laughs> But um, I'm going to show you guys a little physique update, see what I'm weighing this morning. Yesterday I weighed 129, day before 138, and then we will get on with the day. Oh, and I'm also doing a full day of eating. Um, I'm doing a full day of eating with uh, my new macro, so we'll see what today's got in store. There's always something to do. You guys saw it with your own eyes? That's 12 pounds and literally two days so I can't stress it enough guys I'm not saying I lost fat that's just how much water I was retaining from when I got back from Columbus just be consistent get back to it and it'll be like it never happened What is up YouTube fam? I feel like it's been a long long time since I've done a video commentary So I figured I would do some commentary on this video um, Right here. I am performing Just basic squats. Um, I did 135 pounds for six reps My current workout routine is 
really focused on compound compound movements, increasing my weight on the weekly, just getting stronger, um, adding on more muscle mass. Since you guys know, I've took some time off from training due to my surgery, so my main focus right now is getting my strength back up, gaining back muscle mass that I lost during my time off from the gym, and yeah, just really basic stuff, nothing too fancy. Um, as you can see here, I went for 145 for six reps, no spot, so that's a really big step for me. I'm actually really happy with how my body is recovering. Um, I feel like my legs didn't lose that much size nor strength. Um, ever since I've gotten back into training, my body shape is coming back really fast. So I think it was just a matter of getting blood back into the muscle to get that full look again because I felt like during my recovery, my muscles had a very flat look to them. So I'm pretty happy with the way my body is recovering and putting um, size back on. So right here, I'm just performing basic seated leg extensions. I did these for 10 reps, three sets. My main focus right now with all my sets is to basically be two to three reps short from failure. And now we move on to standing leg curls. Um, with these, I really focus on just keeping my glutes tight, squeezing them in, and bringing the weight up. As you can see, I don't fully extend my leg, but I just find that it gives me a better contraction and engagement with the muscle, so that's why I like to perform them that way. Those I did for three sets and 10 reps. And now moving on to some hip thrusts. With these, I've actually found that the further out my feet are, the better contraction I can actually get. So here, I remember like my contraction wasn't as good as it usually is and during the past couple of leg workouts that I've had I've actually noticed that the further out that I extend my legs the better squeeze I can get which is crucial when trying to stimulate um, muscle growth and I performed three sets of 12 reps for the hip thrusts and we finish up with some machine kickbacks just to completely burn out the muscle we did three sets of 15 reps really focusing on that squeeze and making sure that you're getting as much blood as possible into the muscle and just fatiguing the muscle in general um gabby did mention that she has to kind of adjust her body on this machine to really feel that squeeze and um, that contraction so make sure that no matter what machine it is that you really focus on what your body is doing sometimes you just have to do weird things to contract the muscle better don't feel like you're doing it wrong it's just what works better for you and there's nothing wrong with that and then to finish up i did some cable crunches i've been training abs two times a week with legs just three sets of 15 reps and that is about it for this workout in this commentary guys i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully learn some new tricks. <laughs> Just kidding. This is what happens when you train with Valentina. You lose a leg. As you can tell by Sophie, I don't know what happened to my other leg. <laughs>
who is certified for another two years with Precision Nutrition. I'm so glad I got that over with. I've been putting it off for quite a bit now. My um, certification wasn't expired quite yet, but I got the email saying that it was going to expire sometime in March. So I just got it over with, 50 question test. Anyways, I wanted to make this little clip here because I wanted to go to things that I believe will help you make a good comeback after having a little splurge or whatever. Um, it's what I did over the past two days after coming back from Columbus and I believe the main things you need to focus on is one, getting right back on track and if you really want to you can go into a deficit for it depends on how bad the splurge was um, but you can go into a deficit over the course of I'm gonna say two days to a full week. Um, I only did two days. I went I don't even know what how much of a deficit I went into but my macros were pretty low for the past two days and I did do quite a bit of cardio but it paid off because two days later I already dropped basically all the water weight that I gained um, over the three days that I was in Columbus so basically focus on drinking a lot of water fluids in general it doesn't have to be water um, whatever helps you get fluids in exercise get your um, diet back in check and that's honestly basically all it takes you can also add in some dandelion root just natural diuretics like asparagus dandelion root um, getting lots of fiber in just basic stuff like that people think that it takes a, that there's always like some magic pill or something there isn't it all it takes is consistency and just making sure that you get right back to it um yeah <laughs> i don't i think that's all i was gonna say um i am probably gonna have my last meal right now um i want to edit another columbus video for you guys and that's basically where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I didn't do much talking. I don't think anyways, I guess I'll find out when I edit it. But um, I'll show you guys my last meal, show you guys my macros for the day, and wrap this up right here. And as always, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you like the video. Love you guys. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over.